The Highwayman by Alfred Noyes. The wind was a torrent of darkness among the gusty trees. The moon was a ghostly gallon tossed upon cloudy seas. The road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor, and the highwayman came riding, riding, riding. The highwayman came riding up to the old inn door. Over the cobbles he clattered and crashed in the dark little yard, and his trouble tapped with his wish of the shutters but all was locked and barred. He whistled and t t turned to the windows and who should be warning waiting there but the landlord's black eyed daughter Bess the landlord's daughter lighting a dark red glove not into her long black hair. And dark in the dark, old inn yard, a stable wicket creaked, where Tim the ostler listened, his face white and peaked. His eyes were hollows of madness, his hair like moldy hay. He loved the landlord's daughter, the landlord's red-lipped daughter. Dumb as a dog, he listened, and he heard the robber say, One kiss, my bonnie sweetheart, I'm after surprise tonight, but if they, but shall be back before with the yellow go before the morning light. Yet if they press me short when hear me through the day. And look for me by moonlight, watch for me by mo moonlight. I'll come by the by, by moon moonlight, then hell shall roll the way. He did not come in the dawning, he did not come at noon, and out of the tawny sunset before the rise of the moon, when the road was a gypsy's ribbon, lo looping the purple moor, a red coat troop came marching, marching, marching. King George's men came matching up to the old inn door. They said no words to the landlord that drank his ill, but they gagged his daughter and bound her to the foot of her near bed. Two of them kneeled at her casement with muskets at their sides. They was death at every window and hell at one dark window for Bess could see through her casement the road he, that he would ride. She twisted her hands behind her, but all the knots held good. She writhed her hands till her fingers were wet with sweat or blood. They stretched and strained in the darkness and hours crawled by like years, till now on the stroke of midnight, cold on the stroke of midnight, the f tip of one finger touched it, the trigger was at least hers.